sunflowers welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here this is a positive little pocket of the internet today i'm doing a productive vlog i just sat down to do my makeup it is currently sunday i'm gonna do a little sunday routine today because today is gonna be super productive because i have so much school and business stuff to get done and why not bring you guys along to hold me accountable and to make a fun vlog out of it I need to just do so, so, so many things. I'm gonna get to-do list in a bit. But on a, another note, today is actually April 4th, so it's Easter. So we are doing like a few Easter type things this morning. So I thought I'd bring you guys along because it's kind of like a like chill family vibe. And I feel like I, I like always bring you guys along for all the productive stuff, but don't bring you along for some of the like daily life type things. So I'm going to time lapse me doing my makeup, getting ready for the day. I wanna feel cute today. This is my first vlog with blonde hair. If you guys haven't seen my hair transformation, I watched it with purple shampoo for the first time last night it looks more blonde now i really really like it um also really quick one of my favorites right now has been wearing lip gloss again i stopped doing this <gasps> i have an ulta haul you know what i'm gonna go grab my ulta bag because i went to ulta like my dogs i went to ulta like two days ago and i've been waiting to use the stuff because i wanted to do a haul and a vlog for you guys all right guys i'm back i literally was gonna tell you guys that i've been loving the toothpaste lip injection lip gloss recently and then i remembered i got new lip gloss to try because i've just been a big lip gloss girl i finally started doing my let me show you guys what it is this lanage lip mask before bed every night and now my lips don't look so crusty all the time so i like to like you know draw some attention to them i'm kind of digging it and i know i'm wearing a mask most of the time but like for pictures and stuff i've been like wait i look cuter in my snapchat and on my instagram with some lip gloss or i feel cuter does anybody else just get like good vibes when you go to ulta i always leave like wanting to wear like a full face of makeup every day and do like deep deep skincare routine i'm here for it okay so first thing i got is actually gonna be for a video i got it because my friend had been hyping up nair which i know has been around for forever my parents are like making fun of me because like used to be commercials all the time but i picked this up i'm gonna do a video testing nair hair remover because i know summer is coming up and a lot of us are looking for like cheap effective ways to remove body hair and i know for me i don't want to do lizard hair removal because it's so expensive and i don't want to pay for waxing or anything and shaving with a razor can be super annoying and like not super good so we're gonna try this and i'm really excited it's gonna be a mini monday i think so comment down below if you guys do want that but i thought it'd be fun to share that with you guys because i feel like that's a struggle every girl has and why not figure it out together okay then i got this the righteous i know the sun's like shiny guys this is the righteous body butter the righteous body butter is one of my all-time favorite soap and glory lotions next some tiktok trends i got the ordinary hyaluronic acid i don't know if this is one that's always talked about on tiktok i think it is i saw it at checkout and i was like yes i'm so excited about this okay i got the elf liquid glitter eyeshadow in the color pinky swear i'm trying to put it where like the sun is not reflecting so you guys can see the color it's so stinking pretty i think i'm gonna use some of this today because why not i've been waiting this is the lip gloss i got like i told you guys i'm so into lip gloss right now i really want to get the dior lip glow glow oil stuff but it's so expensive so i was like you know what i'll buy that like if i actually get in the habit of wearing lip gloss every day especially because i found like i thought it'd be such a big deal to put lip gloss on and wear a mask because i would like smear all over my face it's really not a big deal to put a mask on and take it off with lip gloss you just like reapply lip gloss so i got the ultimate beauty brand juice infused lip oil to try i figured this would be like a semi dupe to the dior one if i end up getting the dior one i can compare them so i also got this elf instant lift brow pencil this is the last thing i got i saw it this blew up on tiktok but literally two dollars yes um i've heard a lot of good things about this my family used it and she recommended it and i think her makeup usually looks really good and she's like very real and honest when she does stuff on youtube i feel like i'm gonna try this out today too this is just gonna be a little makeup testing easter morning what more could you ask for it's gonna be an amazing day this is your sign right now today is going to be amazing whenever you're watching this and let's actually time lapse my makeup now that's been like four minutes later after i told you guys we time lapse it i just thought why not do an ulta haul i love watching hauls so let's get into it right on time we fell right into each other couldn't pull myself away and i know love is blind so reputation didn't matter it doesn't matter does it babe but i've always got this feeling in the back of my mind that you'll find someone else and then you'll leave me behind y'all going out and i won't be sleeping at night it's harder than i make it look i guess that's why they call them trust issues because i never never had them before i met you so scared you break 
Okay, guys, update. I went and quick straightened my hair. I just straightened a few pieces. It was pretty straight because I blow dried it before I went to bed and I got dressed. I'm gonna give you guys a quick outfit of the day and then I have to go set up Stormy's Easter stuff. She's right here. But I got her Easter basket and everything, so I need to go set it up. Are you so excited for Easter, Bobo? Okay, guys, so I figured today it was a great excuse to wear one of my favorite dresses ever. This is a Love Shack fancy dress. It's so so cute. I love the pink. It's a little big on me because when I got it, they were almost sold out. This is when I did the line with Target. Your girl definitely is not buying full price. Love Shack Fancy, but this was the Target line and they only had a few sizes left. So it's a little baggier than I'd want. So I just wore this bralette because the sleeves kind of fall off sometimes. But it's so cute. I love the puff sleeves. I love the vibes. It's so me. I feel so fancy and I feel so Easter. So it's like perfect. Um, it's really cute with my new blonde hair, I feel like. I don't know. I'm wanting to like wear different colors and see how I like it with my new hair versus like the full brunette vibe. So kind of fun, very cute, fun dress. I thought this was very appropriate for Easter even though we are literally staying home or watching church from home, doing everything from home, but why not dress up? And any excuse for love shock fancy, I will say. Oh my goodness guys, I just set up the little pet baskets. I'm gonna show you guys what are in those. We aren't opening up our baskets yet. My parents did still do baskets for us this year because my mom is super extra. So I'll show that in a bit. But before the pets come out and destroy these, I have Stormy locked up so she can't see yet. I wanted to show you guys what we got the animals. So this is Stormy's stuff from me, very extra, but I'm so excited to give it to her. This little house is so cute. Like, tell me this isn't Love Shack Fancy vibes? Like, me and her can twin. It's so cute. I love the little bird, and she needed one of these scratch boards, and this one was not much more expensive than what I usually get her, and it was so much more cute. And I also am hoping that the walls of the little house keep all of the little ripped up cardboard inside. This is from PetSmart, or Pet, oh, it's Petco, I think, if you guys are interested. So this was her basket. I showed it on a lot of my social medias already, but I got her these really cute treats. This is already open because I filled these adorable eggs with cat treats. Look at them. They have little animals. I thought she would like to play with these because they're like double layered, a little hippo. So cute. I got her this Future Influencer water bowl. She has her favorite snack. This is so cute. She got this new little necklace banana slide. So cute. And yeah, this is her basket. So this is her Little setup. Okay guys, and then these are what my parents got, our two puppies, Lucy and Molly. So their baskets match the color of their collars. So here in Lucy's, she has these super cute Bookies Bakery Krispies, these adorable peeps. These were from Five Below. I saw these and I was like, that's the cutest thing ever. She got a little bone and she got a matching bandana slide with Stormy. Oh, you see this stuff? You can't open it yet. And then Molly, these baskets are seriously so cute. All of the baskets were from Five Below. She got this little pink thing of Bookie's Bakery Krispies. Super cute peeps. She got a new harness because she pulls on her stuff so much and bones. Nope, of course she wants Molly's. You have to wait, it's not time yet, Liz. <laughs> but yes, they're going to get these in a little bit. I will catch up with you guys when we are opening that. It's harder than I make it look. I guess that's why they call them trust issues. Cause I never, never had them before I met you. So oh, yeah, so nice. You like it, Stormy? Is that the best Easter Bobo? Do you want a little egg? Look. <laughs> what is that, Storm? I guess that's why they call them trust issues. Stormy got her new necklace, so cute. Okay guys, so everyone's kind of around. The dogs are being crazy. I wanted to show you guys what I got in my Easter basket while my dad makes breakfast. So first off, this little Peppa Pig sewing kit thing. I think I'm gonna get sewing stuff and make stormy bandanas and put the supplies in here. These sour rings, which I've already ate some of even though I haven't even had breakfast yet. I got these Converse, which I have been wanting for so long. I'm so excited. I love having like a white tennis shoe I wear every day and I kind of have trashed my Nike Air Forces, which I'll still save to wear when like I'm gonna go somewhere they'd get dirty. But these are so nice and clean and I love the platform. Super cute. I'll try to put a link for these down below because we got them off Amazon. 
And then I got an Applebee's gift card. Big Applebee's girl. And then I'll show you guys. My mom made these reusable shopping bags. So I'll just go through them super quick. So first is this really cute little orange one. This one's super cute. It says Ocalia. Yeah. This one says change the caption. I got this mushroom one. These will be great for just like taking to Walmart too so I don't waste so much plastic. This one says extra, extra, extra. And then the last one she made is this green one with strawberries. I'll have to show you guys what's going on behind this camera so much. We have oh, she's in the clean Stormy in the clean clothes. This is her new little Easter necklace. Stormy is the cutest baby in the world. It's never happened as it be, so tell me why, oh why. I'm making nothing in this something. I'm gonna end up pushing you away. But I've always got this feeling. All right, y'all, so update okay, time. It has been a bit. We watched church on TV, went on a walk, and now I'm about to make a little smoothie for lunch because we had like a really late breakfast, but if I don't eat something, well, I'm gonna feel sick, so I'm gonna make this up, enjoy it outside, and then I have to do school stuff. You guys already know with my green smoothies, I make the whole time videos, but I just do spinach, pineapple, and then some sort of flavored water. Also, recently I put this in it. it, gives it a slightly different flavor. I don't really feel like having this today, but this also is good to throw in this liquid IV. And when I do this, I throw in normal water, but that's just like an alternative version. But today, I'm just sticking it to the basics. Cheers, this is always so good, never disappoint. All right guys, it is time to work in my office. I recognize it is definitely a little messy in here. I'm gonna clean it up. I always do on Monday mornings, or I might end up doing it tonight, but right now I have my little smoothie and I'm gonna set up to do homework, so I'm gonna open my stuff up. I'll show you what I'm doing, but, oh, we need to make a to-do list. What am I thinking? Let's make a to-do list on my iPad because it's pretty much just a homework day. All right, y'all, so I recently got this little Apple iPad stand. I guess it's not Apple, it's just an iPad stand from Amazon, and I really like it. It's actually my mom's, but I've been using it a lot, so I'm gonna fill out my to-do list, and then I'll show you guys. I have my little Apple pen ready to get going on my day. Okay, y'all, I just made my to-do list, and it seriously always makes me feel so much better because in my head all day I've been like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do, and just writing it out kind of makes it seem more manageable to me, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm going to be doing. For my astronomy class, I have a quiz to take, and I have to do the Starry Night activity for my Mizzou 8-week course. I need to watch the class videos, do the personal site concept guide, comprehension check, and do the personal site stuff, and I have to order a book. For my Phi Lab, I need to make corrections and send the teacher. Basically, he lets you get full points up until Sunday at midnight if you send corrections. So I have like one more correction I need to make and send over. And then optional is stuff that's due tomorrow, but I could either get ahead on or finish. So my chapter nine homework for physics and I could take my online test because it's like open for a few days. So, yep. All right, guys, I'm going to get to head grinding on this and I'll probably try to get focused, but I'll probably get some clips for you guys. So we'll see you when I see you. We'll be working in WordPress. It's harder than I make it look. I guess that's why they call them trust issues. Cause I never, never had them before I met you. So scared you break my heart. I've never been a girl who is paranoid. Got feelings that I can't. Currently typing up my style guide for my website. I am building in my internet class. Alright y'all, so a little check-in time. It's been like an hour or two. I just did a little comprehension check. It's currently at 444. We love an angel number. Um, I also just wanted to show you guys what I was doing because it was super interesting. This is the first class I've had in so long that I'm actually interested in. It's all about building a website, which I've always really wanted to get better at and know more about. So I'm really enjoying this, but basically I had to do this comprehension check on evaluating a website and I chose Hannah Ashton. She's another YouTuber and a small business. I am obsessed. I have followed her for years, watched her videos for years, but I'd never checked out her website and I am just literally so astonished by how nice her website is. Like this assignment, I had to like critique it and I was like, gosh, I chose the wrong thing because seriously, it was so hard to critique because it's so nice. Like look at all these freebies. So if you guys are ever interested or looking for something, this website was so cool to look at. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this in and I think I'm done with work for this class I'm gonna go through my checklist just to make sure I've been snacking on these sour rings. I'm literally almost out of them Oops, but I think I'm going to hop on and do my astronomy homework next because like the next most urgent thing So we'll see but I'm feeling really good I honestly just feel like I just really learned a lot and I'm getting really excited to dive into web design in this class and it's just really exciting to not just be taking a science class came out to the homework for like it's really unmotivating comment down below if you're a college student you feel those to do classes that have nothing to do with what you're interested in like i just feel like i'm wasting time like you have to get the gen ed but it's so not interesting it's so hard to be motivated to do well but like in this class i want to learn i want to watch every video because it's like i want to know how to do this stuff and i want to be good at this stuff because i want to have a job in this field i'll update you guys in a bit we are having having a time i'm trying to grind out as much as possible today so i can make and ship orders for my small business tomorrow and not feel like I am not putting enough time into school. So sometimes Sundays have to be for school, but that's okay because it makes me feel way less stressed for the week ahead. Finished fixing my lab and now I'm going to turn this in and do my astronomy homework. Okay guys, my dogs are barking, but I finished up my astronomy lab. I'm really excited because I got 100% and I'm really trying to raise my grade in that class. And now I'm on to my physics homework. All right guys, taking a little break and having some HelloFresh dinner. We have cheddar chicken and I'm having some potatoes.